Dear colleagues, in this video, I want to share FICO emulsification of a soft cataract. This is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision. And this is a steel keratome. This patient has very soft cataract, nuclear sclerosis. There is hardly any nuclear sclerosis. You can see nuclear sclerosis grade 1. There is a posterior subcapsular cataract right at this term. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Patient is moving his eye a lot. I am finding it difficult to keep centration. By this time, viscoelastic substance has been injected into the entry chamber. Entry capsule has been incised with a 26 case paint needle. And now this is a cyst. This is a uterator forceps. I'm going to use this uterator forceps to do a continuous carpilinear capsular axis and here a complete the axis and now hydro dissection fluid wave should go to the opposite equator tap the nucleus and the fluid should come along the equator anteriorly. Now rotate the nucleus. And now the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated for better visibility. Here it is. Bevel down entry now aspirate some cortical matter and this will improve visibility. Now since the cataract is very soft, I cannot hold it. I can make just a pit and stay there, being in irrigation. And now, I here I could not hold it and I could not do anything of this space. I have to leave this here, come to the opposite here. I just support this heminucleus and chop it. And I could divide this heminucleus into two pieces. Each nuclear piece is then emulsified and taken out. Fecal power is very minimal in this case, about 30%. Flow rate is 40 and vacuum is 350. This is the last portion of the nucleus. It is managed. And now, we can see some cortical matter. I inject some viscoelastic substance. And now, in this case, I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. First, I introduce the irrigation and uh, one kind of hydro dissection additional hydrodissection is done and now I use both irrigation and aspiration and see how easily it comes out just because of that initial hydration. That's it. The cortex is removed. Some fibers are there. Now I go to IA2 mode that is capsular polish mode where the vacuum is only 20 and flow rate is 15. There are some fibers at around 2 o'clock. I go to again to IA on mode where the vacuum is about 300 and remove these fibers. Now I use irrigation to dislodge these cells. That's it. Now, a single piece intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag under irrigating fluid. Irrigating fluid keeps the anterior chamber formed and the lens goes in the capsular bag. 
and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are hydrated now with BSS so that these stab wounds become waterproof and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with pure BSS and any particle any particulate matter is removed visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is also removed antechamber is formed and the case is concluded and now we must check the integrity of the wounds there should not be any leakage from any site Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Improve your surgical skills and do a great service to the mankind. Thank you very much.